Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 or welcome to Football Manager 2020 if you're one of the new Epic Games players of Football Manager 2020. Uh, it was released for free, I think it's free for a few more days as of this uh, video coming out. So if you're looking to get real names, logos and face backs, you're in the right place. I'll quickly take you through how you can get the game looking like it should uh, in a very quick period of time. Now the way that I do this is by going to fmscout.com they have a real names license fix. Uh, they also have face packs and logos that you can use. Uh, so links to that will be down in the description. Uh, and we'll start off by doing the real names license fix first because I think this can often be the trickiest one to do. So all you need to do when you get to this page is do the download now. That will take you to this screen. You download it manually and then it will be in your downloads folder. You use WinRAR. Uh, if you're using Windows to extract the files into a new folder uh, and that will show up just like this so you'll have these files here uh, and then you simply need to follow the instructions uh, on the screen here now obviously if you're using Epic Games it is in a slightly different place so what you have to do uh, using the my PC uh, section is going to uh, local disk C it's actually in program files then Epic Games then you're at Football Manager 2020. So what you'll see when you do go through here uh, is it will tell you to get to this location here. So to do that, just follow the location path. So you'll see uh, they've gone Steam Apps and then Football Manager 2020 here. We've gone a different way. We've gone Program Files, Epic Games, Football Manager. Uh, and then you just go to Data, you go Database, and then you go DB, and then 2040 and there you go uh, so that's how you get to it through the epic games tree you then just follow this process here so if you go to ink next and then the sub all folder you need to delete all the files in here uh, so take them all and just hit delete and there you go they're gone and then what you do is go back to your other real names fix folder and then you just want to take these two files here drag them across and drop them in and then that is done. So that's in the all folder. Then you do have another step to go. You need to go back uh, to the EDT folder. So that's going up to and then EDT permanent and delete the fake dot edit file. So once that's gone, uh, you need to go back two folders again um, and then go to the DBC folder. Um, in the DBC folder you will see that uh, it's a little bit different here to what's on the screen. So you want to go into permanent actually and you want to delete any of the Zebra awards that you can find. So when they're gone that will fix that. Um, it should also just fix the other bit. Um, but because it then says to go into the permanent folder you also need to get rid of these ones. So there's the Brazil kits needs to go, uh, the forbidden names needs to go and then the licensing ones also need to go you could also get rid of the swear words one if you'd like to uh, but the other two you do need to leave in there so when that's done and you've done that with all three of those folders you should have all of the real names uh, in football manager 2020 so you can go ahead and close that folder so there you go you've got everything that should be deleted uh, from the game now when you want to do your face packs it's slightly different for this one you just want to go uh, to this PC documents sports interactive so this is in a separate place this is just within your own documents on the game and there should be a sports interactive folder uh, you then want to go inside football manager 2020 and you should see a graphics folder in here if you don't see a graphics folder you need to create it just as a new folder name it graphics and then when you go in this is where you'll drop the downloads that you get. So uh, lots of things you can take here, club kits, face packs, logos, other graphics are all available including skins and things. Uh, so if we went into the DF11 faces mega pack, you'd have to download it. They are enormous files these, so you might wanna start playing a game uh, while you're downloading this. Um, and then once you've got them, download the file and you literally just drop it in here into the appropriate folder you might have to name a new folder so for me faces scope faces mega pack there they all are huge number of them uh, and i've got the kits and logos in there as well so when that's done and you've got everything downloaded you can go to your save and it doesn't matter if it's a current save or a former save um, or a new save sorry um, you go fm preferences and in here you just need to go to the advanced section 
and go from most common to all and then if you scroll down a little bit you'll get to this skin section here so I play football manager dark if you're wondering why it looks different um, and what you want to do is under this skin bit here is make sure you've got use caching to decrease page loading times unticked and tick the reload skin when confirming changes and preferences um, and then you know if I quickly do that uh, and reload the skin or click confirm if that wasn't the original setup when this is done all of the logos and kits and everything that you've had installed in your files will appear in the game it might take a while depending on how much stuff you have brought in uh, but it will also fix a lot of the names now the one caveat to that is that if you have got a current game and you've just done the real name fix the zebra fixes and the brazilian leagues will not change but otherwise everything else should work if i go to the shortlist here i can see tammy abraham in there i've got the chelsea badge same for man city zinchenko um, i also if i go to the Premier League, um, the real name fixes should have taken effect, you've got Premier League in there anyway, um, and it should all just work absolutely fine, so hopefully that will work for you guys, if not, leave some comments down below, I'll do my best to try and address them, and if other people have got this to work, do help people out down in the comments, but drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe for more Football Manager 2020 content, and until next time, see ya!